Good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. It's about 5.15 Mountain Standard Time or Mountain Time. And uh, this is the boondocking spot, guys. So we'll just walk around here a little bit. But first I'll show you, this is my, my sitting spot. That's my Beer 30 spot facing west. Why is it facing west today? Because we got plenty of clouds and it's cool. So I don't really need a shade because Mother Nature's giving me cloud cover. Thank goodness. But yeah, here we are, guys. There's the sitting spot, and there's the Ram truck in the front and the casita in the back. And it's uh, it's it's just me. There's been two cars come by uh, all day. Well, one of them, one guy came by in a, like a flatbed pickup, you know, with a looked like a welding pickup kind of thing, white one. And then uh, another couple of guys came by, well, down there somewhere there's a place you can ride the four-wheeler things and there was two of those that came by and that's it well there was one other suv came by down there somewhere but other than that ain't been nothing just me and it is totally quiet and it is beer 30 and uh which reminds me i gotta go get my beer i left it over here in the front but I'm telling you, man, it's uh, you, when you get out here like this, you know, somebody's going to probably ask the obvious question, you know, now that you're here, what do you do? And the answer is not a hell of a lot because there ain't much to do. I mean, you can walk around, you can and do a lot of things. But for me, just being here in the peace and quiet is uh, fairly entertaining. I read a little bit in a book, and I watched a uh, Alfred Hitchcock movie and that's it all day long pretty stressful huh? it's still warm up here it got up to about 90 here and inside the rv about 90 and uh, in that range but it's not that bad i guess i'm getting used to it because it, it gets there and then it drops pretty quick because now it's in the uh i think in the upper probably about 87 and 85 uh and low humidity inside of an RV or whatever is is not bad as long as you have some air moving and I've got that vent fan and I also have a uh, the O2 cool fan it operates on 12 volt but that's pretty neat and there's a forest fire over there you can't see it there's some smoke over that way I don't know if that's a prescribed burn or an actual forest fire but But you know, when you sit down in a place like this and all you hear is the wind blowing through the trees, uh, you know, all of a sudden the news doesn't make much sense. You know, you talk about social distancing. I, I think that is so sick. Jesus, that's a good way to put it too, sick. But be that as it may, it's beautiful out here. And, uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's walk down this way. I haven't walked down here yet. Somebody wanted me to t take y'all for a walk or why didn't I do a video when I was out walking? Well, you know, it's, well, in the mornings, I, that's my time to kind of, I don't know, just kind of relieve, just kind of get, get w woken up, get to wake up. How about that? I'll finally get there. Yes, sir, it's good to be alive and be out here, to be able to do this. It is. And the battery is still sitting on 12.8. That's a full battery. Of course, I don't use anything. I've been running the uh, Max Air vent fan most of the day. And of course, I've got the refrigerator on propane, and it uses virtually nothing as far as energy i don't know about propane it may be sucking that up by the pound but i don't know but i mean there's nothing here guys and i mean there ain't nobody here no music no do car doors slamming no horns honking no sirens <clears throat> Isn't that beautiful though? I mean, that, that, that's a million dollar view, man. 
here I got 50 cents in each pocket to give me balance. This is a pretty cactus. I think that's what you call an ocotillo. I could be wrong on that, but that is a thorny booger. As far as wildlife, I haven't seen any. No snakes, none of that stuff. You know, if you see a snake out here, it's like winning the lottery. You know what I mean? Apparently seeing humans out here is kind of like winning the lottery. But isn't this pretty though, guys? Just too cool, man. I'm walking right. I'm heading due west almost. No wildlife of any kind so far. No tracks because I check. You know, I look around in the soft dirt to see kind of what's milling around. And the only thing I've seen is a few car tracks on the road. Uh, no animal tracks at all. A few horse tracks around. Because this is BLM land and the equestrian uh, campsite. Um, Rob Jaggers is nearby and people ride their horses around here. But yeah, this is pretty neat. I mean, how do you like that? So when you grow up, you can do this. Mm. Beer 30 sanity session in the middle of nowhere. Boy, you couldn't have it in a better place. If the whole population of the world could be in a place like I am right now, there would be no issues at all. I guarantee you. We make up problems. <laughs> Sad to say. Well, I'll head back over to my sitting spot and end this exciting video. But there's not much you can say about boondocking other than keep it simple. You know, I haven't even hooked up my solar today and I may not even do it tomorrow. I'm going to wait till it gets to about 12.6 volts and uh, charge it. But I may not have to do that for two or three days. Amazing. I got, a, I got solar ready to go, 100 watts. Got a 120 amp hour AGM battery that was fully charged when I arrived. And of course got propane. And there's some things you can't run, you know, using the battery and solar. But for me, uh, it's fine. You know, I got a couple of battery operated fans and a flashlight if I need light. So I'm, I'm using virtually no energy, none. In fact, I'm walking right now and I'm using as little energy as I can. Here's to you guys. Skull. Prost. Cheers. Mm -hmm. You know, guys, there's nothing like walking around out here in the middle of nowhere, having a cold beer. And if I want to pee, just make a rainbow anywhere. Actually, it's actually good if, you, if you're ever out camping, pee around your campsite. Animals, will, they'll check it out. And, uh, you know, they'll, they'll, they, it, it, some of them it'll scare. They, they'll say, well, better not go there. That's one of them Hunans, humans. But anyway, guys, from uh, near Capitan, I'm about 20 minutes from Capitan, New Mexico. From right here, I'll go in. Oh, maybe once I'll go in once a day probably and get water and you know just to pass the time because you know just because you're boondogging doesn't mean you have to just sit there and look at the stars or whatever you know you can enjoy yourself but with that view in mind right there guys you know if you're watching the news I, I you know I, I have nothing to say you know what I mean but anyway guys thumbs up carpe diem adios bye bye buy anything you want if you think about it, use the Amazon link or the PayPal account thing if you know how to do it. Doesn't need one of them cost you anything. But drink plenty of water, stretch. Well, boy, out here, you know, the humidity right now is about 11%. Yeah, suck down the water. I probably drank a gallon or over today. And uh, what else, you know, yeah, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk. St uh, what else? Uh, take deep breaths, man. St you know, relieve stress to get off those meds. And then, uh, yeah. Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, at ease, carry on, tell 
next time. What a beautiful sunset. It's going to be setting right here. Right there. And as soon as it gets low enough, as soon as it gets right in this area right in here, the temperature will start dropping, boom, like real quick. But anyway, having said that, guys, enjoy your life. All right? Adios. Bye-bye.